Hey there guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and Obsidian, two very powerful tools that serve very different but interesting purposes. I'll break down their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, and more. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which platform might be the right pick for your workflow. And after watching this video, if you decide to go with Miro, check out that link that I've added in the description. If you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free just through my link. So let's get started. First off, let's start with a quick overview. Miro is a leading online whiteboard and platform designed for team collaboration, brainstorming, workshops, and agile planning. It's built to help teams visualize ideas and work together in real time on an infinite canvas. On the other hand, Obsidian is a note-taking powerhouse built for individuals who love deep thinking, personal knowledge management, and connecting ideas through a local markdown-based system. While Miro thrives on visual, team-based collaboration, Obsidian is all about creating a second brain for yourself with linked notes, customizable plugins, and a local first approach. Now, features. Miro offers a wide range of tools, including sticky notes, mind maps, wireframes, templates, timers, voting, video calls, and integrations with apps like Jira, Slack, and Google Drive. It's great for visual thinkers and teams who need to align on projects, run design sprints, or map out processes. Now on the flip side, Obsidian shines with features like bi-directional links, graph view, markdown editing, customizable themes, and a massive plugin library that lets you tailor your note-taking experience exactly how you want. It's designed for individuals or small groups looking to organize their knowledge, connect ideas, and work offline with the option to sync and publish if desired. Now let's look at that user experience. Miro's interface is sleek, colorful, and inviting, but it can feel a bit overwhelming at first because of the sheer number of tools and templates packed in. However, once you get used to it, it is incredibly flexible and supports a wide range of use cases from brainstorming sessions to strategy planning. Obsidian, by contrast, is more minimal out of the box, but highly customizable. Its learning curve depends on how deep you want to go. It can be as simple as a mark down editor or as complex as a personalized knowledge system, depending on how many plugins and advanced features you choose to enable. When it comes to integrations, Miro connects with more than 100 popular tools, including Notion, Asana, Microsoft Teams, and Trello, making it a perfect fit for collaborative teams. Obsidian, however, focuses on extensibility through its plugin ecosystem and has optional sync and publish services, but it doesn't come with built-in integrations for external project management tools. It's really designed to be a self-contained system. Now let's talk about pricing. Miro offers a free plan, starter at $8 per user per month, business at $16 per user per month, and enterprise with custom pricing. Obsidian offers optional add-on services, sync at $5 per user per month, publish at $10 per site per month, catalyst at a one-time $25, and commercial at $50 per user per year. So, which platform should you choose? If you're looking for a team-based collaboration tool that helps bring people together visually, Miro is the way to go. But if you're an individual or small group focused on knowledge management, personal growth, or research, Obsidian offers a powerful, flexible, and privacy-focused system that's hard to beat. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.